common gallon was actually found from Canada through the Americas all the way down uh, to Ch into Chile. And they prefer fresh water or brackish water, places where there is vegetation plus open water. The common gallinule um, is actually an omnivore. It eats vegetation like leaves and seeds and fruits from plants and then it's also opportunistic because it will also eat insects and snails and even sometimes eggs from other birds. So it will actually eat whatever happens to be around. These birds actually will sound an alarm when danger is near. They make a really loud sound, almost like a clucking. They also do a whinnying or squawking sound to alert uh, all the other birds in the area that danger is near. They also can charge a predator. They'll put their head down and charge right at it if it's small enough. If it's too large, then they actually will flee and hide in the tall vegetation. So the common gallinule actually swims like a duck, but it's in the rail family because it can walk over the vegetation. So it does not have webbed feet, even though it is a very good swimmer. Instead, it has long toes that make it so it can walk across mud and cling to and across that, that raised vegetation. The common gallinule was also once called the common moorhen. In fact, the names were synonymous. But in 2011, the American Ornithological Society decided to change the names into the two different species. So the common gallinule actually refers to the New World bird, which is in the Americas. The moorhen now refers to the Old World bird, which is in Europe and Asia and Africa. So they have two different names and they are separated geographically. There's also a couple of other differences. Visually, the gallinule has a larger red forehead and bill area, whereas the moorhens is much smaller. Also, they make very different sounds. So today, a lot of people still call the gallinule a moorhen, but they are two very different species. Music